Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are discussing interview question and answers for Microsoft Power BI Data Analyst PL300. If you find this content helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. You can download the complete list of valid, tried, tested and updated question and answers from the playlist link provided in the description. Do share please. Our question is, what are the benefits of using Power BI direct query mode compared to import mode? Your answer should be direct query mode. In direct query mode, Power BI connects directly to the data source and retrives real-time data on each query execution. This ensures that reports always reflect the latest data without requiring data import or storage in Power BI, making it suitable for scenarios where real-time data access is critical. Import mode. In import mode, data is imported and sorted in Power BI internal storage, which can improve query performance and enable offline access to reports. Import mode is suitable for scenarios where data volumes are manageable and periodic data refreshers are acceptable. Our next question is, how do you use parameters in Power BI to create dynamic reports? Your answer should be, to use parameters in Power BI to create dynamic reports, define parameters in Power BI desktop by specifying a data type and default value. Create the AX expression that reference to the parameters to dynamically filter data or modify calculations based on parameter values. Use parameterized queries in data source queries to pass parameter values dynamically. Configure report visuals to interact with parameters allowing users to change parameter values and see updated results in real time. If you find this content helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. Our next question is, explain the concept of bookmarks in Power BI and how they are used to create interactive reports. Your answer should be, Bookmarks in Power BI allows users to capture the current state of the report page including applied filters, slicer selections and visual interactions and save it for future reference or navigation. Bookmarks can be used to create interactive reports by capturing different report views or scenarios and saving them as bookmarks adding buttons, images or shapes to the report page and configuring them to navigate to specific bookmarks when clicked. Creating interactive storytelling experiences by linking bookmarks together in a sequence. Our next question is, what is Power BI desktop model view and how does it help in data modeling? Your answer should be, the Power BI desktop model view is a visual representation of a data model within Power BI desktop. It helps in data modeling by providing a graphical representation of tables, relationships and hierarchies in a data model, allowing users to view and manage relationships, calculated columns, measures and hierarchies using drag and drop interactions, facilitating data model optimization, troubleshooting and debugging by visualizing the structure and dependencies of the data model. Our next question is, how do you implement row level security RLS using Power BI service? Your answer should be, to implement role-level security, RLS using Power BI service. Define 
security roles with row level filters in Power BI Desktop or Power BI Service. Publish the dataset to the Power BI Service. Assign users or groups to security rules and configure role membership using Power BI Service. Power BI Service applies role level filters based on the user's role during data access and visualization, ensuring that users only see authorized data roles. If you are preparing for any certification, you can download the complete list of valid, tried, tested, and updated question and answer from the playlist link provided in the description. Wishing you all the very best. Thank you.